UTPA Women's Soccer gearing up for the WAC tournament, we give you a full preview and tell you why the return of one player may serve as a nice November surprise. UTPA Men's Basketball gearing up for its first game action of the season, and the UTPA Men's Tennis and Baseball teams not just practicing last week, we take you to their Halloween costume training sessions. This is Brown Country. Hey everyone and welcome to Brown Country, I'm Jonah Goldberg. The UTPA women's soccer team closed out the regular season with a 4-1 loss at New Mexico State last weekend. But despite that, the Bronx will compete as one of six teams in the WAC tournament starting Thursday. And while it's hard to see the big picture right now, the fact that a first year program is heading to the WAC tournament is not lost on the Bronx freshman captains. It's really cool. I mean, it's a big part for uh, the community and uh, the school and us as a team to uh, reach the um, tournament as a first year program. So it was one of our goals and uh, to be there is it's fantastic. Obviously, we're all so excited for a first year program. No one thought that was possible. Uh, so to even be a part of that, that's amazing. Uh, for me, it's really cool. It's my hometown, Seattle. So it's kind of exciting to prove what South Texas can do in my hometown and show everyone kind of what we have to bring to the table. The Bronx have accomplished many of their goals this season, such as winning more games than the average first year Texas women's soccer program. In fact, the Bronx have now won more games than the average first year Texas Division I women's soccer program as well. Even more impressively, the Bronx have clinched a winning record. So even though if the season ended today, it couldn't be considered anything but a success, the Bronx are looking for something more. We focus on performance this season, and we'll do the same in the WAC tournament. We'll do our best, and hopefully we'll, well, advance. I'm extremely proud and happy with how we've done so far, but this is only a foundation of where we're supposed to go in the future. Uh, this team has set a really good precedent for the future of UTPA and going to be TRGV, so uh, we're just getting started and this is only more drive for our team to work harder and be an even better team. Coach Bagaru, on the other hand, is quick to temper expectations for a squad that includes 16 true freshmen. You know, I think getting the tournament is a major achievement for a first year team. If, if we can find a way to win our, our first round game, then we'll be very proud and, and make a, a moment of history that will be remembered forever. Of course, one of the biggest factors could be the return of co-captain Sheridan Mechanic. One of the Bronx top defensive midfielders, Mechanic missed four games due to injury before returning this past weekend at New Mexico State. And Mechanic's impact simply can't be underestimated. Sheridan Mechanic has a big influence on the team and she's captain for a reason, so it's great to have her back on the field and uh, I know she's hungry for plays. You know, Sheridan's our captain. She's, uh, she's our defensive midfielder. She recovers a lot of balls. She does a lot of work that goes unnoticed. So we've missed her last few games. Uh, we're very happy that, that she'll be able to, to continue to contribute, continue to play well, and she's a great player. As for a mechanic, well, she's just happy to be able to contribute again. It's amazing. Uh, as much as uh, I love to support my team from the sidelines, uh, it's hard not playing. It's, it's hard watching the, the girls go out there and not being able to be physically a part of it. So to be back is just amazing. I'm working hard every single day to make sure that um, I play even harder the second time around. So here it is, the WAC tournament bracket. The sixth-seeded Bronx open up against third-seeded Utah Valley on Thursday. Should the Bronx advance, They'll take on second seed at Kansas City on Friday. The WAC Championship match is set for Sunday. Speaking of WAC Championship level events, let's move on to cross country. UTPA hosting the WAC Championships at Palm View Golf Course in McAllen. The women got things going with the 6K. There were 63 total runners from eight teams competing. The race consisted of two laps, a big loop, and a small loop. Freshman Jennifer Zapata had a strong race for the Bronx. Finishing in 17th place with a time of 18.40, just eight seconds shy of all WAC honors. It was hard, competitive, and it was hard keeping track of my own breathing because everybody, I could hear people breathing, and it was tough, tough course. Here are the full team results for the Bronx. Freshman Teresa Sovo was second among the Bronx, while senior Rebecca Rodriguez was third. 
As a team, the Bronx finished in sixth place with 168 points. Seattle U won the team championship, while Kansas City's Courtney Ferrix won the individual title. Uh, the women's race got out super fast today. That first 800 meters is uh, real fast. It's a little bit downhill, and then it turns into a roller coaster after that. Um, but they went out pretty strong, I think a little bit too strong, and it might have caught us a little bit over the last half of the race. The men were next with the 8K, meaning three laps instead of two. There were 55 total runners from seven teams competing. It was a very competitive race, especially early on, as you can see a number of Bronx neck and neck with their competitors and sometimes their teammates. Junior Jose Juan Wells paced the Bronx at the time of 25.51. That's good for 14th place, meaning all WAC second team honors. Going to this race is my first WAC, my West, my first WAC race, and what I felt like is there's a, quite a lot of competition here. Like, there's, there's more room to improve here, you know. It's like this first time I, I know what to expect now and hopefully next time I can come in in better shape. It's always nice to get somebody on uh, an all-conference team. I think he was real strong and stayed consistent through the race and stayed tough and represented us pretty well. As a whole, the Bronx placed sixth. Utah Valley won the event while New Mexico State's Daniel Rubio won the individual title. Graduate student Luis Serrano came in 27th with a time of 26.41, while Leo Dominguez wasn't far behind. As you can see in the results, there were a pair of really close finishes that we're going to show you. Rick Montero and Ricardo Granados almost finished in tandem, separated by just two seconds. But there was an even closer finish. Watch this, as Martin Perez and David Montalvo were separated by less than half a second. Uh, the men's race went out pretty quick too. It was a uh, it was fast start over the first mile or so. Uh, our guys got out a little bit too aggressive and I think it probably caught up with a little bit, but they stayed tough over the second half. I think we beat one team. We haven't seen the official results. I think we beat one team that we were ranked behind. So that's a win. Basketball season may be over a week away, but the UTPA men's basketball team is gonna hit the court for a game this weekend. Next on Bronx Country, we get ready for the Bronx exhibition game. We pursue excellence in the classroom and strive to achieve our potential. We compete on the field with integrity, on the court with respect, and in the pool with distinction. We are strong leaders in our community and gain values from our biggest fans. We continue the legacy of commitment to our universities, to our coaches, to our teammates, and most importantly to you. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western Athletic Conference. The ball on the right wing goes for the tie. And he does it again! Nolan straight to the hoop. Ties the game! Over with three, with two, the desperation he goes in! Jack Fogler from half court! Bronx win! Bronx win! Get your Bronx basketball season tickets now by calling 665 2221 or logging on to utpabronx.com. This commercial is brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. The UTPA men's basketball team opens the season next week against Wayland Baptist, but first, the Bronx get a dress rehearsal. Romeo Villarreal has the story. This Saturday, the men's basketball team plays their first game in front of a crowd. While it may only be an exhibition game, the players have been looking forward to this moment since the first day of practice. I'm really excited about it. The guys have been working real hard. We've been building a lot of chemistry, and to get out and play in front of people against another team should be a real interesting venue for us. We got a whole new group of guys, so I'm pretty sure the fans are excited to see what we bring to the table this year as well. The team has been participating in inter-squad scrimmages, but a lot changes once the players finally get under the lights. Close scrimmage against another university is great because now you're guarding different people, different things, and different philosophies, so you, you grow within that. The great thing, though, about the exhibitions, and, and we have a good one this year. International was an NCAA Division II tournament team last year, so uh, the great thing about that is now you're playing in front of a crowd with the lights on. And although uh, a lot of guys can perform in practice, it's sometimes they get nervous, and, and uh, it, it's, it's just a good chance for them to get ready for the season. With very few returning players returning to the team, Coach Hipscher thinks that fans will see a big difference between this team and Bronx of the past. Well, I think the, the change in size, length, 
athleticism, shooting, I mean, uh, skill. Uh, it's, it's a much deeper and more competitive group. And hopefully that transcends to playing against other teams that these kids are now competing in practice against some better players, deeper players, and uh, hopefully then are, are uh, more ready to play against other teams too. But I think they'll see a decided difference in, in those things I mentioned earlier, the side, the speed, the, the strength, and hopefully we'll go from there. For Bronx Country, this is Romeo Villadiao. The Bronx are not just preparing for this season on the court, but off the court as well, as they drove around the Rio Grande Valley last week personally delivering season tickets. It was an experience that was exciting for fans and players alike. Uh, it feels really good to be able to actually come out and meet the people who come out and support us and that's going to be supporting us all season. So it was a real good experience just to be able to meet them and get to know them. And I feel like it's just the beginning of a long, long journey. Big news for a former Bronx basketball player as 6'3 shooting guard Brandon Provost was taken in the NBA Development League draft by the Iowa Energy and then immediately traded to the Rio Grande Valley Vipers, who play just 15 minutes from UTPA. Provost is looking to become the sixth Bronx to play in the official minor league of the NBA and the third to play for the Vipers, who are affiliated with the Houston Rockets. Despite that, Provost is eligible to be signed by all 30 NBA teams. Provost finished his career 12th in scoring and 3rd in three-pointers, despite playing just three years for the Bronx after transferring from Air Force. The three-time All-Conference honoree spent his rookie season in Germany, averaging nearly 18 points per game last season. We'll have more on Provost in a future episode of Bronx Country. UTPA women's basketball season also about a week away, and they're going in with quite a luxury. Four of their eight returning players are starters. We send it back out to Romeo on the basketball beat. While there are a lot of returning players on the women's basketball team this year, the players are determined to show fans this isn't the same team they saw last year. They've done a lot of growing since then. Uh, last year we had a lot of returners, but um, we had also had a lot of new people, and now I feel like since everyone's kind of the, the same, it's about the same people that's still together, it's uh, great chemistry. Teamwork, we all depend on each other. We basically trust each other. So when you have trust with one another, you trust each other on the defensive end, the offensive end. You make the right passes at the right times. And that's basically how we're getting through it. One of the things that's grown with the team is their goals that they've set for themselves this year. We all want we all want to win the WAG. We all want to uh, get to the NCAA dance. We uh, we want to get our, our shooting percentages up because, you know, we weren't we weren't that really good. We weren't really that good, like, uh, compared to the rest of the conference team. So we got a lot, of prove, a lot to prove this year, and I think we're going to prove it. One of the things Coach Tidwell's noticed about his returning players are the amount of leaders that have shown up on this team. Well, I'll tell you the leadership. Uh, our captain, and we'll add a couple of captains for the season starts, is Tiandra Nolan. She's done a very good job. I've uh, been very impressed with the game with Shazay Wright, the way that she leads. And uh, we'll continue to, to build off that leadership role. Shante Goff is always going to give you a, a good day. KK Boyd's going to give you a good day. And uh, Brittany Bush is always going to give you a good day. So we got a lot of good leadership, a lot of good senior leadership. And, you know, Terrell Price in that group. And, you know, I, I have a, a nucleus of five really good seniors. For Bronx Country, this is Romeo Viedial. And while the Bronx have been busy on the court, they haven't been too busy to take some time off the court to fight for a good cause. It was a familiar sight for UTPA students, faculty, and staff outside the UTPA library almost every day last week. Student athletes asking them to help save lives and become registered donors for the Be The Match Bone Marrow Registry. This is the third year in a row UTPA Athletics has hosted such an event and the second year in a row for the women's basketball team, which joined with the baseball, volleyball, and women's tennis teams, as well as other student organizations, to help bring in over 1,000 registrants in just four days. It means a lot because of the bone marrow, like it saves lives. Like the fact that you can do one thing for one person and actually save their life, that's what it means a lot. It's a big change. And the, the, the things that we have to do is so small compared to the things that they have to go through. I tell you, for us to be a part of Be The Match is extraordinary. It's a great organization. It's a great cause. We need everybody to come out and support it. Even if it's not on our campus right now, you need to find out what Be The Match Bone Marrow Registry is going to be. You need to register because I tell you, I've been involved with it eight years and have been a part of 
locating and helping find five matches that have helped save young people's lives in Manchukuo Felix. It's an incredibly hectic time of year for the Bronx, with practices raging almost every day. But to take a little time out to save a life? Well, that's a no-brainer. It's always good to save a life. Everybody doesn't see tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised. So if you can take five minutes out of your day to save a kid with cancer's life, then that's better and more than what we have. It's really important for us to give a little time to give back. And it's a great cause, getting people to sign up for bone marrow donation. It's a thing that I truly believe in, our girls believe in, that we've got to give back. We're so fortunate. We're, we're, we're really honored to be able to come out and be a part of Be The Match. But helping young kids when they're trying to get through some tough times, that's what it's all about. Over the last three years, Bronx student athletes from several teams have encouraged over 1,600 people to register to donate bone marrow. It all started in September of 2012 when the baseball team was racing against the clock to find a match for Nolan Naranjo, then a five-year-old from Brownsville with MDS pre-leukemia. Although none of the 250 registrants from the drive were a match, Nolan's mother was a half match, and it worked. Nolan is now in the first grade and doing quite well. You know what? Everything started uh, with the bone drive with Nolan, um, and thank goodness that, uh, and thank God that he's in the clear. But yeah, obviously the guys that were here when we first started the drive, uh, they remember Nolan, um, and we told them how the new players, how the uh, bone marrow drive started uh, with Nolan, that he needed the bone marrow uh, transplant. So yeah, um, basically, uh, it's in it's in honor of Nolan, memory of Nolan, of Nolan, and we still uh, we, we're still going to do it as long as we can. Halloween is a day for dressing up and having fun. Well, what could be more fun than practicing in full character? Coming up on Brown Country, we take you out to the men's tennis and baseball Halloween practices. Every year, UTPA baseball players dress up and give out candy. That's right, I said give it out, not take it. It's all part of the Halloween on the Diamond experience. Romeo Villarreal has the trick and the treat. Every year around Halloween time, the men's baseball team holds their annual Halloween practice. And as far as costumes go, this year may have been the best year ever. I got to tell you, this probably, Romeo, was the best year of uh, costumes. I mean, we had some really, really good ones. Um, I liked uh, Coach Al. Uh, I liked Peter Pan. Peter Pan was good. Uh, the basketball, Sean, the uh, semi-pro was good. Uh, I mean, there was there was a bunch of good ones, and of course, uh, well, Peter Pan had like five guys in it, so and they won the accustomed judging com uh, contest, so it, it was a lot of fun. Also hosting their own practice this year was men's tennis. Coach Mantrano explained to us why having fun little events at practice like this are good for teams. You have to kind of you know you have to taper off at times. You have to enjoy it, and I think this is a good thing for uh, for our players. It's uh, you know we had a nice turnout. Uh, there was a lot of kids. We gave them some candy, so I think uh, everybody wins. With your Halloween practice update, this is Romeo Villadiel. UTPA Volleyball back home to take on Utah Valley. We pick it up in the second set. Bronx down 1-0 in the match, but Corinne Acuff gets the Bronx off to a good start. Plenty more coming up from Acuff. But first, we turn it over to De'Ara Reynolds, who had a huge set. Bronx down 3-4, but Reynolds ties it. Then the Bronx are down 5-6, and Reynolds ties it again. Now, excuse me if I sound like a broken record. Do they even have records anymore? But one serve later, Reynolds does it again. Tied at seven. A little later on, set tied at 11. Not anymore. Reynolds gives the Bronx the lead. The Bronx push their lead to as many as five, but the Wolverines come back. Now it's tied at 19 before Acuff throws it down. The Bronx have the lead again, and they're not giving it up. On set point, who else but Reynolds? Match tied at one. On to the third set, Bronx down 4-7, but watch this sequence. Big block by Acuff. Next serve, Acuff combines with Reynolds on the block, and then she teams up with Mary-Kate Clark. Now the set is tied at seven, and Acuff gives the Bronx the lead. The Bronx led by as many as two at 11-9 on this Alicia Watson kill before the Wolverines come back to take the set and go up 2-1. The Bronx got off to a good start in the fourth set, going up 1-0 on this Acuff kill and 3-1 on this Reynolds kill. But the Wolverines come back 
to win the match, 3-1. Watson led the Bronx with 12 kills. Reynolds finished with 11 kills on 346 hitting. Clark posted a double-double of 31 assists and 11 digs to go with a career-high tying four blocks. But how about Aka? Season-high five kills and a career-high tying six blocks for the sophomore. Corinne has been waiting in the wings. Uh, she's had her moments here and there. But for her to come out and perform the way she has, you know, we're going to need that the rest of the way. Uh, she provides an energy. Uh, you know, at times she can she can run a slide a little bit more consistently than Maria. Um, you know, so she gives us a, a nice weapon. Uh, you know, someone a little bit different than teams have scouted with Maria. So you know, that's that's good for us. Uh, you know, it was nice to see her do it consistently from the time she stepped foot on the floor to to the very end. So you know, she's one who right now who's who's not willing to quit. She's you know, she wants that playing time. She wants to be out there, and so she's working hard. 48 hours later, Bronx hosting Seattle. Second set, Bronx down one nothing in the match, 0-3 in the set, but Alicia Watson comes up with the kill. And then back-to-back -back box by Haley Durham and De'Ara Reynolds, set tied at three. Move ahead, set tied at nine, not anymore. Anjanae Janda with the kill. And then Mary Kate Clark serving, ace. Followed by a little more Janda. Bronx up 12-9. Now the set's tied at 13, when Watson gives the Bronx the lead back for the Red Hawks to come back to take the set. So we move to the third, and the Bronx are off to a good start. Watson makes it 1-0, and then Janda makes it 2-0. A little later on, set tied at 7, and it's more Janda. The Bronx have the lead again! The Red Hawks take the lead back shortly after, but the set stays close as Maria Kleefolk ties it at 19 here. The Red Hawks score six of the final seven points to complete the sweep. Do you want to help our student athletes prepare for excellence in life? Then join the Bronx Athletic Fund today. You can become a member of the BAF for just $50 a year. All of the money raised goes directly to student athlete scholarships. So visit BronxAthleticFund.com today to see how you can make a meaningful impact on the lives of student athletes. We pursue excellence in the classroom and strive to achieve our potential. We compete on the field with integrity, on the court with respect, and in the pool with distinction. We are strong leaders in our community and gain values from our biggest fans. We continue the legacy of commitment to our universities, to our coaches, to our teammates, and most importantly to you. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western Athletic Conference. The ball on the right wing goes for the tie. And he does it again! Nolan straight to the hoop. Ties the game! With three, with two, the desperation he goes in! Jack Bowler from half court! Bronx win! Bronx win! Get your Bronx basketball season tickets now by calling 665-2221 or logging on to utpabronx.com. This commercial is brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. Big week ahead for the Bronx, as UTPA women's soccer competes in its first ever WAC tournament, starting with a quarterfinals matchup against Utah Valley. UTPA Volleyball hosts Senior Day on Saturday at 1 against New Mexico State. And then a few hours later, UTPA men's basketball hits the court for the first time as they host Texas A&M International in an exhibition game. We want to thank you for stamping your passport in Bronx country this week. Schedule another visit for next week. But until then, Go Bronx! We pursue excellence in the classroom and strive to achieve our potential. We compete on the field with integrity, on the court with respect, and in the pool with distinction. We are strong leaders in our community and gain values from our biggest fans. We continue the legacy of commitment to our universities, to our coaches, to our teammates, and most importantly to you. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western Athletic Conference. 
The ball on the right wing goes for the tie. And he does it again! Nolan straight to the hoop. Ties the game! Oh, with three, with two, the desperation heave goes in! Jack Fogler from half court! Bronx win! Bronx win! Get your Bronx basketball season tickets now by calling 665-2221 or logging on to utpabronx.com. This commercial is brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics.